on Wednesday morning, I believe it is. I just couldn't think that. Oh no. The clicking noise on my camera. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyway, it's 6 o'clock. Just got up and um, happy to report yesterday I was a lot better. I'm still working up this morning, so I'm not quite sure how I feel. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I had a much better day yesterday, so hopefully I will feel better once I wake up properly again. <laughs> Always very stiff and sore in the morning, so we'll see how we go, I guess. But yesterday I was much better. I feel like I finally turned the corner. Anyway, I'll have my coffee. My coffee. That's how, that's how, how half asleep I am having a coffee this morning. No, I'll have my tea. <laughs> I've got some cycling to watch the Tour of Poland on, so I'll watch that. It only goes for like an hour, an hour and a half. That's quite good, actually. Have that. Help my family get their lunches, as you can see. I didn't get done last night. <laughs> it's a bit of a crazy, crazy unusual afternoon of taking Athena to an appointment and then I took me to town to buy some clothes she got some gorgeous clothes with dressier things that she needs for some things coming up and then she ended up going I ended up staying in town to pick Christy up from drama at 6 o'clock so I had to drop Athena off at the iPad she ended up going to see another play at the iPad last night and so her and Kevin didn't get home until like what past 9 or something so it was a bit of a, an unusual sort of an afternoon and evening so anyway I need that cup of tea <laughs> So I'd get cook some of these for Athena for her lunch. Um, I'll put one for lunch and one for lunch tomorrow or something. I'm be cooking them both. We haven't had these before. They look very really nice. Um, quite substantial looking veggie burger. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not, definitely not feeling as good as I was yesterday, but I'm hoping I um, pick up and improve. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I'm yeah, corrected because I'm actually putting. I thought I'd try and do a bit of their lunch. And I haven't done that for weeks, so I must be feeling somewhat better to, to contemplate even doing that. <laughs> so I've got all the lunch boxes done, Chris's is all done, and I've just um, I've cut up some of this with a herb and garlic pull apart that we got yesterday from Baker's Delight. So the patties are cooling down. I'm just not sure Kevin's going to want his turkey on this or on normal bread, so I'll wait and see when he comes down. It's the little things <laughs> that make you happy. And so it's the first time I've made lunch in many, many weeks. And I made some soup yesterday, dinner the night before. Um, it's just little things when I can do little things that go yay. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I'm definitely going to take it easy today because I'm definitely, I, well, so far anyway, not as well as it was yesterday, but we'll. Uh, We'll see. I'm so excited just to start to feel better. I'm about to do little things like pack lunches for my family. Well, Kevin and Athena have headed to work and school with lunches made by made by, ah, they talk about it, made by me. Unfortunately, I still have one left. Christy sent me an email to say it was quite funny actually. <laughs> this thing's missed word. And it was a good one. She said, I feel really, really crisp, so I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Told Dad, please. And it's basically just crap, not crisp. <laughs> hmm. So, we'll see. She won't be watching TV or having computers. She had four days off last week, but yesterday she was good. And over the weekend, she was pretty good. So, I think we've got the same issues that we had last year. But unlike last year, she's now in high school. She can't miss days and days of school. So, just uh, letting Bailey out. He's come downstairs. So hopefully, maybe when she gets up, we can go into, to, she went up to bed early last night too. So, because some of them think maybe she's sleeping, like just tired. But there's really no computers or internet for this day. Um, so, but um, hopefully maybe she's had more sleep, she'll feel better. Because when, whatever she had going on last year, which was all year, she would always sort of feel better about two or three o'clock. And she had the same thing last week. I'm pretty sure we're back dealing with that again is most unfortunate because I actually saw a paediatrician um, when the school holiday, so only a month ago. Got a little Priceline haul delivery came yesterday. I had 40% off last week, so I got on and all this and things that I was going to be needing. 
the next month or so. Um, gosh, dogs in and out, in and out. But I think I've also picked up a few other things online, so I think I'll um, maybe drop a little, um, it's like a pre-spring haul, I guess. I started buying a few tops and stuff for our holiday um, because that is only like four and a half weeks away. This is why I must get better. I'm just uh, actually working on my photo book, I'm doing my June photos, or sort of July photos for my annual photo book. Um, I was doing that because my internet was mucking up. So I haven't got any, can't get internet on my laptop, but I can get my wife, my personal internet, sounds funny. Um, I can get that on my main computer, so but I can't get it on my laptop, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, I am showered, I'm dressed. <laughs> I'll lie natural again. I'm puffed, I put the washing on. I think it's getting very frustrating very fast. I think, okay, I can do stuff, and then I get puffed so quick. And it's, it's getting really frustrating. Because you start to feel better, and I just want to do so many things, like just little things like. I made some chia cookies and some bliss balls because I want to get my eating back on track as well because my weight has now started to go up. It's crazy because I've been there the last few days, but anyway. Unfortunately, I've gotten back on sugar. So now I've got to get off sugar again. What are you doing? What are you doing, boy? I had a lot of poos to pick up yesterday. You did that in some gorgeous day. Blue skies, and I think cause you can tell that spring's coming. You know, I had that warm weather last week, and it's not as warm today. And we're counting down to the holiday, and I so want to be good for that. So it's frustrating. Anyway, I was getting on. I better get my breakfast. I was good yesterday. I made a smoothie. Today, you know what? I'm gonna. I think I bought some pre-cut mushrooms. I'm gonna. So we'll taste some of them for that and some baked beans. So that sounds nice. So I'll, have, I'll do that for breakfast. So again, this will be the most extravagant breakfast I've made in an awful long time. So I just have to move I am getting better. I am improving. It's just going to be slow. And I also need to just pace myself. <laughs> I need to buy pre-cut mushrooms and I don't really... I can see why. <laughs> but anyway, so I've got them on. I think I might have an egg as well and I've got my baked beans ready. So, it'll be nice to kind of have a properish breakfast. Now <laughs> oh, there's breakfast, that looks delicious. My antibiotics to take. So, at least I guess, I guess the first step getting well is being able to eat better again. I had super good meals yesterday and I did have a bowl of lemonade when I was out, it was bright. Um, so I need to stop. I've just started drinking the, the Sprite again and I need to stop. Um, I haven't had too much. As you can see, I thoroughly enjoyed my breakfast. It was so good. And I managed to get my personal internet thing working, though it stopped again now. But I managed to get one and a half videos watched. <laughs> so that was good. That's my little breakfast ritual. No energy today. <laughs> I did make another doctor's appointment for tomorrow. Kevin just wants me to keep going to the doctors just to be there and just go through things with her. Um, and I think I mentioned, did I mention that? I don't know. And get a referral from a rheumatologist for my thumbs. Definitely need to see him about that. But yeah, just to. I don't know, like my arms ache, everything aches. And um, I don't think it's just a lung infection. And he's the same. He just sort of thinks there's something else, bigger picture that's causing these other things like the esophagitis and the um, low iron levels. Like, they've got to all be related, surely. Anyway, I'll get this washing hung out and get my jobs done and then uh, let's see how I go. I'll show you Rosie, she's sitting real cute. Hello Rosie, what are you doing? You're just sitting real cute. You're hoping that Nanny will come up. Oh, did I say Nanny? Did I say Nanny? Do you love Nanny? Oh, you love Nanny. The pop <laughs> she's not here. I know you're hoping that she'll come and take you out, aren't you? Which they've been doing, and they probably will. Except she went so crazy yesterday, didn't you? And you look so cute. I just gone to the door because I talked about Nanny. Do you love Nanny too? 
Hey, we probably does nanny. <laughs> oh, what was it, buddy? See, you're already going a bit silly, getting a bit stressy. Hey. So cute. There are both things happening. So I've got the washing up done. Dishwasher's emptied. Clothes got hung out. So that's all my essentials for today. I'm going to drink the tea that I forgot that I was brewing while I had breakfast. That's a nice strong cup with it. not too bad. It's just English breakfast, so that's okay. And I'm going to work on editing a vlog while I'm working away on that vlog. Oh, I don't know what's going to tell you. Something I can't remember what now. Pop just came over and took the dogs for a walk, and I've got my new party light catalogue. Oh, it's got Christmas stuff in it. It seems funny. But um, I actually. The lady, Cheryl, who um, sort of is my consultant, usually has an open house when the catalogue comes out, and it's actually on this Saturday. And when she sent through, I thought, oh, I just couldn't even contemplate getting to it at that stage. So I asked her to send me out the catalogue, that's why I've got it now. But um, then Leanne sent me a message on Monday to see if we'd like to go up for lunch, and then her and I'll go across to um, the party. And actually, if you guys have been watching for a while, you might remember we did this last year, we went across to her party. I think I did actually vlog that day, so. And she had the big, oh, yeah, she had the big, huge, big train set in her back yard. And I made the mistake of assuming it was her husband's, but it's actually hers. So if we, well, hopefully we should be going. As I said, I'm feeling better. So I, there's no reason I don't think at this stage to think we won't be able to get up there. So I'll um, probably show her backyard again because it's pretty awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Um, <laughs> so it would be nice to see the candles and smell the candles in real life because again if you've been here for a while you know that I absolutely love party light candles they are my favorite and they don't upset Kevin's asthma so they are good all year round so I'll um, sit and have a flip through that later on and maybe um, earmark some things I'd like but I think I've got a pretty good stash at the minute because I got put an order in not too long ago so yeah I did that's right I ordered when I was um would have only been May or something so May or June because I picked up some a candle to put in the order, uh, the gift for Zara. So yeah, I don't think I really need too much. But we're not to go and smell the new smells, and who knows, it might be something that I have to have. <laughs> so I've edited that video, and I'm trying to check the weather because I'm freezing. But of course, we don't have any internet in the house, so my phone's trying to connect to the house internet. So it was that temperature at five o'clock last night. <laughs> I'm sure it's nice if I sat outside and the sun would be nice, but I'm really cold in here. My hands and my feet are freezing, and I've got my fluffy cotton on everything. So, it must be time for another cup of tea, I think. Okay, cup of tea made, and I went to Taipei yesterday to buy some, a birthday present, um, and I bought this for myself because <laughs> my mug had died, and I was using the girls' mugs, so wasn't that so cute? I'm going to show it in a haul as well, but I couldn't wait to use it. Because I'm a bit hungry, I'm having a piece of a piece of this herb and garlic pull apart. So I've got the heel bit to tie me up for lunchtime. I was just reading through my blog comment, sorry, vlog comments from the Q and A, and Kevin pipes in. What do you mean I don't watch? I watch this one, <laughs> but he never watches them. But well, he doesn't watch my vlogs. Yeah, you know, that's funny, cheeky, cheeky Kevin, because he doesn't really watch them. <laughs> I can't talk about him if he watches them, can I? Anyway, there's lots of lovely comments there. You all seem to enjoy the Q&A video, so definitely uh, maybe another two months or so I could do it again, so I could do, you know, perhaps quarterly or something. And return my puppies. Got oh, bed socks on and my feet are still freezing. So we had a nice walk. And said they were very good. So I had a chat with her. It's my dad's 70th birthday next Tuesday. And now we're having a lunch for him on Sunday. I might have mentioned it before, I can't remember. Um, I have no idea what to get him for his birthday though. My poor little moose finally turned up and she literally is a little moo in her cow onesie. <laughs> poor darling, she's not very well, so that she managed to get her a doctor's appointment for this afternoon, so even hippo can't always make you better, Kenny. <laughs> so at least I've got an appointment. Bailey and I <laughs> We're just gonna take her around to the, the local shops and I'm just pick up a few things now that Christy's up. Now I'll come home. The internet's dropped out again, so. Well, I did something I don't ever recall doing, and I just stopped and got myself some 
hot chips for lunch. I've been really craving them lately, so I just had the idea. I don't, I don't think I've ever bought myself hot chips before. Um, not that I can recall something occasionally, like twice a year, we might have for lunch for a family. Um, so yeah. Not very good for me, but I guess I'm better to satisfy the craving because it's been there for a few days. I even tried to buy some at KFC and I never go to KFC. I was walking past one yesterday afternoon and I actually tried to buy some, but they didn't have any left and I didn't want to wait five minutes for my chips and obviously I probably should have because it would have been a smaller portion, but anyway, I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm not going to try to feel too guilty about it because it's not something we have very often. Please watch me eat my lunch. Oh, Christy's still not feeling good. Can't do There's nothing left on the plate, Bailey. He got the last chip or two. I got Rosie over here. Noise. Every time he eats a chip, he's rather noisy, so we give one to her too. <laughs> oh, Rose, it's been a hard day, darling. And I've got YouTube, what the internet was working again at the moment, so that's good. Okay, what have I learnt today? I have learnt that I do indeed have an internet addiction. Um, partly because I'm not up to doing other things <laughs> if I was feeling well and could be doing house jobs or getting out and about and doing stuff would be different but because I'm sort of stuck on the couch um, yes I'm struggling the internet comes in and I can watch a bit of YouTube then it drops back out again so it's just dropped out again I'm thinking what do I do now I've got, you know, I've got loads of books to read and magazines to read and things I could do I don't feel like doing any of this I think it's a problem, I'm just not well so to sit here and watch videos is easy uh, Christy ended up going next door to Nan's because she was trying to watch we well, said she can't watch her normal TV shows and obviously you can't get internet um, so but she came up with the idea that she could watch one well, part of her homework is to watch a movie that they're familiar with in Italian and they've had the English subtitles up but they've got to watch it the Italian our version so we couldn't get the DVD player working here we couldn't get it working in the room it's a blu-ray so it wouldn't work on the the um disc that you can plug into your laptop so I thought well they've got she's got a oh she's obviously got it working the DVD player in the room that they use at Nan so she's gone over to, to watch it over there okay so I've got a couple of magazines to flick through I probably should go and sit outside but quite frankly it's pretty warmer out there I wonder, I might in a minute, Let's see, I haven't got the energy in a second to get up and go outside, but... So, one of the magazines I bought over to read is the Prevention magazine, because it had Lorna Jane Clarkson in it, and it was a clean eating issue. I don't usually buy it, but I thought I'd buy it and see what it was like. But, does anyone else think those shorts are the most horrible and unflattering thing? I just, she's obviously got a gorgeous figure, she designs clothes for a living, and maybe they are cute, I don't know, I don't think they'd be cute on a young person, but hey, they're horrid. <laughs> I'm going to whinge again, because now my tummy's gone all funny. Uh, so could we from the antibiotics? Now thankful YouTube's back, because I'm feeling really sick. And I just want to watch something. I've been reading's too hard, I've got so much in mind to watch. What am I up to watching? Uh, Natalia. There's glitter in the sky. Good morning. <laughs> so weak. Oh, my stomach. So I've relocated to different couch. So I can lie down. Also cold. So I've got. Oh, she's down, down at my feet. Warm my feet. So that's nice. Bailey's there. And I'm still watching the tail. Look, she's just taken her goldies on a walk. In the night. <laughs> I'm not going to see him now. We just saw him a second ago. Oh, yeah, there they are. I wish I could take my babies on a walk. Daddy. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling a lot better. I tried to have a little sleep, but it didn't really work. I don't think that. I might take Christy to the doctor soon, so. I have funny feeling I need to visit more than she does at the minute. <laughs> she said she's not great, but she said she feels slightly better. I feel worse, but anyway. Gotta bring the washing in and then we'll get going. 
that came from the doctors. I thought really about the doctors. I was actually trying to get how I was going to get home, but luckily I felt a little bit better. So still not great. But um, anyway, the doctor thinks maybe there's constipation again for Christy, so she's going to have an x-ray tomorrow. And um, we'll see, because she's had obviously chronic issues with that for years, so I guess it's the first thing they're going to have to have a look at. Uh, and Kevin and Athena are home. I wasn't expecting them home for dinner, so Athena's yeah. made dinner, which is lovely. Kevin's doing the dog still. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sign off here because I really don't feel great still. I think we did have TV and an early night to bed. And I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Unfortunately, wait, she's running like an hour late. I think otherwise she might have seen me as well, but it's already so late and she probably knows my it's not going to be a quick one. But anyway. We'll see. Maybe I'll be right tomorrow until so we've moved on. I'll just get my discuss the other thing with them and get my referral, which is what I was originally going to do. Anyway, I'll um, see you next time. Hopefully, doing good.